now to my two, maybe three subscribers now who were concerned that I was not uploading videos. Was I okay? Was I still alive? Had some horrible thing befallen me? No, just life, work and family and I had to take a couple of weeks out but I'm back now so rejoice and you can enjoy my out of focus badly edited videos. Enjoy. Anyway, so what are we going to talk about today? Well today we are going to talk about having a scheduler slash planner type thing in the shell and this is because I do not like notifications, I do not like status bars, I do not like prompts unless I want them and what that means is that I run a program, a shell script or a script where I can have these bits of information when I want them. Usually at the beginning of the day, maybe at the end of the day or just if I need this information. So what I'm really talking about here is a bit like a program like CalCurse, right? So CalCurse is one of those shell program shell programs, yeah, in the in your terminal, sorry, which will give you a calendar, will give you information. But actually, I've got I think a better way, and it sort of encompasses many things, and including programs. So let's just sort of get into this. So if you have a look at the screen, as you can see, I've got highlighted here. Um, a, a a case statement um, called C. It's, so it's just a letter C, and this really just starts up when I run the program that I use, TTYSH. And uh, really, what it does is it starts a planner. So if you look here, I've got continue, and now I've got selection help, all this kind of stuff. So I can just go into selection and run whatever I want, or I can hit this button here, C, and uh, it will run, as you can see in this case statement here, something called Planner. Planner is a function I made. Uh, let's have a look at Planner. Uh, so if I can find this function, oh, what am I doing? Planner. Okay, here we go. So really this is quite simple, quite simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own so I can show you what I mean. So the first thing that comes up is a printf statement, start or choose some music. And all this does is um, it, it asks, again, it's another case statement in a while loop. It asks, do I, wa do I want to run Seamus? Okay. Um, and then it reattaches it. I've got, this is kind of a bit janky because um, I had an issue with Seamus and screen some, some months ago. Basically, screen had an update, broke. Uh, my settings for Seamus, whatever. So you could start music. So for example, this, let's do this kind of hypothetically and kind of um, including some real examples. So I'm gonna make a, let's actually just do Vim, use whatever your um, text editor is. And I'm just gonna call this planner, okay? Planner.sh. And then we need to do our usual bin-sh. I do everything in shell. POSIX compliance, sorry, but you can do bin bash if you want. I'm just going to do bin sh, okay? Oh, yeah, sorry. <sighs> Can't even remember how to shell script. Anyway, so crash bang or hash exclamation mark slash bin slash sh. Okay, and then I need to make this executable. So chmod plus x on the planner.sh, okay? As you can see, that's now executable. So let's go back into this. So what? What would you? So what? Let's let's put it in this perspective. So when I start up my computer, basically, this is what I run in the morning, just to see what my notes are, see what I've got in my schedule, all this kind of stuff. So, but sometimes you just want to start with a bit of music. So, say for example, you've got Seamus. I know I haven't done a video on Seamus yet or music, but. And yes, I know people are going to say, well, why use Seamus when you can use, uh, what's it called? That horribly named thing in the shell, which I have used before, and you can run it as a server. Whatever, I digress. So uh, you could run, let's just put, I'll just do it as an echo. Echo, um, uh, do you want to play music? 
Okay, and then yes, no. Okay, and then you can do a case statement, case in. Uh, could you do it as, uh, just call it music. I need a, I need a read first. So, you know, obviously, you know, I've done all this kind of stuff before. Read, I'm not gonna put, Let's just call it Seamus pick, okay? And then uh, let's call this. Uh, so we want to call the uh, Seamus pick. So this is where you you put in your uh, it reads the input from the read um, command, okay? I've done this so many times. I don't think I don't want to go and and just repeat all this stuff. I just want to get into, but I'm just going to give you an example of how you can put in input and have a case statement that reads what your input is. I use case statements because I like to stand on the home row. I can put in whatever keys I want. Okay, so I'm just going to give this one example here. So case in, and then let's have uh, yes. And then in theory, run Seamus. I don't think I've got Seamus installed on here, but whatever. Uh, no, oh yeah, remember to do your, is it two? Yeah, two semicolons. Um, no, and then yeah, you could just have, if you were running this as a while loop, you could just break, or you could have, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's just, break well, not the thing is you're not breaking out of anything so just put echo you chose no and then that should just carry on after that I hope that makes sense okay so I'm not going to keep going into how to do case statements while loops you know how to do this by now you just look at my old videos okay oh yeah we need to close out our case statement with case at the backwards which is ESAC okay right this has gone on far too long so obviously you started up your music what else what where do you go from here so what we want to know what is the t date and time so and again I've got here printf uh, time and date is but we're just going to put in date so I want to know what the date is now you might think well why well why not I just want to know what the date I just want a hint a reminder okay and then uh, this month's calendar. Now I've got um, Cal here. So this is again, this is another program, Cal. And that will just bring up the calendar. Okay, uh, we can just do, we can do a little echo. The date is. Okay. Uh, let's do a sleep for three seconds after that. So we can just then see just gives us a little break in between okay and uh, should I put in here uh, the echo the calendar is okay again you can modify and have this however you want if you want more elaborate calendar stuff now I've got uh, another thing here called calendar schedule so this is a bit more complicated. And again, I'm not gonna get into this too much. You can look at the code. This is on TTYSH. I'll put it up there. I wouldn't recommend installing it though, because it's the configuration file isn't quite right. Okay, calendar schedule. But you can see um, the code here. So, so you can set up your calendar schedule here. So if you've got this file, <clears throat> if you've not got this file, in your in your system it basically sets up the uh, calendar data okay so it's quite a lot here I, I don't want to get into okay let's find calendar data okay so calendar data you can again set this all up you can choose a start date and an end date and then um, basically does some math uh, does use uh, transform uses orc and basically what this does is it gives you a calendar where you can read out the um, 
the in sorry let's explain this better only back after two weeks so I can't explain anything so it this creates a file which lists out like a schedule your calendar dates okay so if it's today's date it will say what you're doing you obviously have to input the things you're doing on these dates but this will give you like a vim text file or a text file um, where you can put in your calendar a bit like let's put it like this. it's it's a shell scripted cow curse okay again it's, this is out of the scope of this video i will probably follow this up in another okay and then obviously this is where we've got the calendar schedule okay and then do you want to edit your calendar so you can do all this stuff here you know it's quite a lot here obviously i can't just cover this in this video okay so if you want that if you want so okay install calcus if you want a calendar schedule or look at that script if you understand shell scripts and basic programming there you go you can look at that that will do that for you and then you can just edit the file till your heart's content i'll cover that in another video in the future so here we go, we've got a notes file, cut out your notes, so you can create a notes uh, file, um, so I don't know, again you can do this however you want, so let's put in, uh, let's put in notes.txt, okay we can create that in a minute, um, so we've got that, and then I've got weather, now weather again is another function. So again, this is quite a lot here. Weather though, all I've got is it's just using uh, Witter. See if I can find it. Okay, here we go. So it's just use it. It's just using the program curl on wttr.in. Again, I'll cover that in another video. But again, here you go. If you want to know the weather in your shell, there you go. There's the weather, and I've got it. So it actually dumps the uh, output into a thing called dot weather data so I can ask I can go and put in um, read the location and then it will output the update or it will read from a file if there's no internet connection again I hope that makes sense I'm probably covering quite a lot here without covering it but whatever hey I haven't been on for two weeks give me a break okay Okay, uh, where was I? Uh, so we have done weather, and then I've got RSS feed. I just use Newsboat again. So if you know how to set up an RSS feed, you can get your latest RSS feeds. And then um, because, of course, I do everything in the um, TTY, this is in the TTY. Um, I am not yet in uh, X11 or Wayland, so I basically ask myself, do I want to go into the i3 window manager with email and web browser? And I've got its own configurations there, which again, I'll go into in the future. So uh, the reason I don't start email in the TTY necessarily, unfortunately, as you know, if you use email, and I use MUT, which I can use in the shell, is because if I get emails with um, links and images, I need my web browser. And what web browser do I need? I need a modern web browser. It's just the way it is. This is not how I want it, but it's what it is. So I open X11 and then it starts it all up. Okay, and then, and then it, that's it. It goes back to selection, but obviously if I'm an X11, it's just gonna be an X11. I hope that makes sense. So let's look at a very basic version of this. So, um, and then let's go sleep free again, and then let's put uh, echo starting X11, or i3 window manager. Okay. Start X. So this is the most basic equivalent, because this video will go on forever. Okay, I am going to make that little notes file. So uh, let's do vim notes.txt and I'm going to say notes add, add a note below. 
you need to edit this video. Okay, so uh, let's let's run this. So you do dot forward slash if you know shell scripting and uh, what was it called planner? Do you want to play music? No, I don't. You chose no. The date is this, and then it's giving me the calendar and it's going to sleep. Add a note below. You need to edit this video and then start in X11, start in I3. Okay, so let's P kill I3 and I'm back in the scripts. There you go. That's pretty simple, but even that will give you the information, the basic information you will need. Again, there's certain things I haven't covered in depth here because they will take their own videos. So that's just really my thinking. That's how I do a planner or how I do a scheduler on my computer. I start off in uh, the Linux console, uh, the TTY, and then um, it just builds up from there, all these different things. And I just get the information I need. I don't need distractions. I don't need to be um, bombarded with notifications. If I need distractions, if I need to know these things, I will find out what I need. That's to me the best way. And that includes emails. You know, I just need to get work done. I will, I will decide when I need this information. That's how I look at it. Anyway, so I hope that uh, that first video back after two weeks was um, okay. Hope that gave you an insight into how I do certain things in regards to notifications or planning or scheduling, all this kind of stuff. Um, anyway, I think we'll leave it there. And uh, so, uh, you know what to do with a fake YouTube. You can like, comment, and subscribe. And obviously, I want to give special thanks to my memberships. That is uh, Sean, that is HTX80 Nerd, and uh, that is Soul, and uh, if you want to join the memberships, if you want an early access and you want to have your name on the end screen, as you should be able to see now, uh, just look at my Patreon or YouTube. It's all in the description, and uh, there you go. You can get those perks if you want them. Anyway, I'll leave it there, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one.